Scam Compare tool is used for comparing ODB++ layers against its equivalent Gerber layer, so you can be confident each dataset will produce a matching printed circuit board. This is only required if you must still support the older Gerber format in your manufacturing data package. You can only start the CAM Compare tool by enabling the Launch ODB++ Insight option found during the creation of your ODB++ export from Expedition. Your CAM Compare will begin automatically using freshly generated Gerbers and drills that follow the settings defined in your Expedition output dialogs. Please note these files will be created in a special ODBPP output directory for use during the compare, separate from the default Expedition, Gerber, and NC drill output folders. The look and function of the CAM Compare tool will be exactly the same as we just learned in the ODB++ Viewer lesson, but with a few more layers and tool functions added. The comparison pane will show us which layers of the board we are viewing and the comparison status of each layer. Note the layers representing the ODB++ are on the left, and the layers representing the Gerbers are on the right under CAM data. Layers with a color next to it will be visible in the large graphic area to the right. When layers overlap, it will create a new blended color showing we have a match and that the data is correct. In this example, we can see the ODB++ signal layer 3 is red, and the equivalent Gerber CAM data layer is blue. Where the two overlap, they blend to make pink. When differences are found, the tool will automatically zoom to these areas with a yellow box surrounding the differences. Here we can see some connector pads that have been removed in the ODB++, but not removed in the Gerber, as we still see blue pads here in the design. If we look at the status of the layers compared, we'll see red and green lights showcasing the results of each stage. The first column represents the translation status of the imported Gerber. Next, the match status shows if the tool is able to map the Gerber layer to its equivalent ODB++ layer. Then the registration status notifies us if the layers have been correctly aligned with each other. And finally, the comparison status represents the results of comparing the Gerber layer against the ODB++ layer. If I place my cursor over the red light, it will show me how many violations occur on that layer. Once the comparison is complete, the first violation will be shown. If no violations are found, all lights will be green and the total number of layers processed will be shown in the lower left corner. We can begin to review the results by selecting the Next Result button to review each violation individually. You may also use the Show First, Previous, or Last Result button to cycle through your violations. The lower left corner will track how many violations and which one we are viewing. The associated layers will turn on automatically and a box will surround the violation in the graphic window area. The handy overview window with the red filled box will help us to better understand the area of the board we are viewing in the large graphic window. Turning on layers and reviewing feature properties can be helpful in understanding and troubleshooting the violation. To see a feature's property attributes, select a feature and open the View Properties dialog. Please note the Low Intelligence Gerber CAM files will only provide feature dimension sizes, while the Intelligent ODB++ file will provide many of the properties found in the actual PCB layout, such as its assigned net name and whether the feature is an SMD pad, via, drill, or alike. Let's take a look at some of the other tools and options available that we did not see in the ODB++ Viewer lesson. Reviewing the icons, we start with some quick toggle off and on selections for enabling or disabling the compare layer checkboxes. You can also manually disable any layer you do not wish to compare. We have seen the highlight and clear highlighted which allow you to select and deselect features, but further control is given here by using the feature filter to limit and manage selection choices. Some powerful Gerber Move and Rotate tools will allow you to troubleshoot any possible alignment and rotation problems that may occur during the manual importing of Gerber data. A quick show all violations is available for easy viewing of troublesome areas. 
and the zoom mode will allow you to set your zoom preference while reviewing the results. Here we have auto zoom, pan only, and no zoom. During a manual import of Gerber data, sometimes a layer will mistakenly map to the wrong layer, such as duplicated ground plane layers that closely match each other. These can easily be fixed by dragging the layer to the correct location in the stack up. And then manually invoking each compare process to create new results. If you wish to import a new set of Gerbers, either restart the process by creating a new ODB++ output, or use the clear cam layers function to purge any Gerber cam data. Then select the next result button to start the import and compare process all over again. Tuning your Gerber and ODB++ setup schemes so that they complement each other will really allow this process to run quick and smooth. Although ODB++ is the superior data format, CamCompare is a great tool that will make sure your company gets a consistent built board regardless of the data format used for input. Next, let's finish by looking at what it means to implement a lean NPI process and how to left shift your design DFM practices.